Sorry, are you okay? <laughs> All right. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. That's it. And again, in and out. Well, your colour seems to be back. How are you feeling now? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a bit embarrassed. There's no need to be embarrassed. But you might want to get your symptoms checked out properly. They might be an indication of... I will, thanks. Look, I really appreciate you making sure I got home all right. I was happy to help. But if you're sure you're okay, I really do need to go. I'm late for my shift. Oh, you are joking. It's at the time. Still got my key. Want to see for myself what was so important. Yesterday it was Cindy's wedding and today you'd rather hang out with some old man. Oh, Ella, that is not true, please. I sat and waited for you at the salon. All lunch I waited. I actually thought you were trying, but it was just lies, wasn't it? As usual. I won't need these anymore. We're done. Don't ever try and talk to me again. You brew a mean Earl Grey. At least I can do. I really appreciate you looking out for me yesterday and for being so discreet about it. Well, naturally, I won't say anything, but you could... Why would I want everyone knowing that I am still struggling to keep it together? Besides, it was nothing. I just got a bit breathless. Mandy, are you in? <laughs> Ella is really upset. You know what a big step it was for her to agree to meet you, so why didn't you shut? Who are you? I'm Nancy. Ali Shazard, the guilty party. See, I'm afraid I distracted Mandy yesterday when I got lost and she showed me the way to the hospital for an important meeting. See, I'm the new oncologist there and I didn't want to be late. Oh, well, I guess that explains everything then. <laughs> but, Mandy, it took my best saleswoman skills to convince Ella to meet you. And now we're back to where we started. If that, I'll get Darren to try again with her today to see if she'll agree, but... Thanks. Bye. And thank you for covering. You're welcome. But, um, your daughter may be more forgiving if you actually told her what happened yesterday. Like, I know, it's not my business, but maybe you should talk to her? I'm sure you're already sick of the sight of me, but, um, I didn't know if this would help for when you speak to Ella. You think I've got anxiety? Well, your experiences do bear all the hallmarks of panic attacks. But, you know, you should think about discussing it with your GP as well as your daughter. Yeah, well, I have thought about it and I've decided not to tell Ella. Well, she'd just think it was one more reason why I'm failing her as a mom and she'd be right, I'm a mess. <laughs> you are really not a mess. And that is, of course, a professional medical diagnosis. You're very kind. But you don't know my history or Ella's. I really need to concentrate on sorting myself out first before I can even try and rebuild things with her. Otherwise, I'm just going to make things worse like I did yesterday. Besides, she doesn't need me. And Nancy has taken excellent care of her. Sorry. <laughs> it's work. Call my secretary and he'll get DJ booked in. Thanks, Miss Pat. <laughs> Hello again. We must stop meeting like this. Dr. Shazad. Oh, call me Ali, please. How have you been doing? Great. Yeah, I haven't had a, another panic attack since... I'm sorry for the scene that Ella caused. I don't know why she would assume we were dating. Hmm. It's not that much of a stretch, is it? I mean, I'd be up for a drink if you are. <laughs> Come on. What's holding you back? Nothing. See if I can free up some space in my schedule. Hmm. That's a date then. <laughs> he does. Actually, I think you might know him. Mandy, trust me, don't do this. What? Find yourself a good man, a decent man, not him. Well, Ali is a good man. He's helping. Uh, Misba. <laughs> hey. Do you and this will have some sort of history I should know about? Uh, why don't I fill you in over lunch? But you and Miss Byrne know each other from uni. Do you have some sort of history? No, not really. It's just Miss Byrne's always been a very ambitious woman. 
There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, no, of course not. It's... I think she wanted the position that I now hold at the hospital. Oh. But look, I didn't ask you here to talk about my work. I did it because I want to spend time with you. Yeah. Your attitude is really starting to grate. I don't know what you're talking about. See, my instincts have served me very well. You're nervous around me. That's why you're making mistakes at work. I made one error. A patient nearly died. You know, and I don't want your behaviour impacting on my private life. Mandy appreciates a bit of class. Sophistication, if you will. Oh. Oh, and that's you, is it? Ah. Little green-eyed monster coming out to play, is it? The arrogance is outstanding. I wish I'd you never... Know, as much as I'd love to hear the rest of that compelling sentence, I'm busy. Morning. Where? Jezza! Tomorrow? Uh, are you free to go to London tomorrow? Y yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. Appreciate it. That was a uh, doctor friend of mine. He's a top orthopedist in London. You don't want DJ catching up on a year of appointments at Pokey Old D Valley when he could see the best spinal doctor there is, do you? Wait, is that an option? What? <laughs> well, you and DJ deserve the best, so I've nabbed you an appointment with the top guy tomorrow, if you want it. Yes, of course. Thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll call you later. Thank you. <laughs> Can I help you? I'm your son. 